Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be showing you a Wii Remote Smart Board. So what you're going to need is a computer with the Smoothboard software. In this case I'm using Windows, but they do have it for Mac. And it's available on their website. You're going to want to download and install the software to your computer and make sure your computer has Bluetooth capabilities. And then you're going to make sure that you have some sort of regular old Wii Remote. This could be for many Wii. Just I've heard things that the Wii Motion Plus does not work with it correctly, so just a regular Wii Remote is fine. Now I'm using a TV in this case, but I have a desktop monitor which you can use as well, as well as any old laptop. And then in the Smoothboard software you calibrate it by using a four point touch calibration and the Wii Remote will see an infrared pen that you should have when you do your calibration or else this will not work. The infrared pen is a light that you cannot see with your eye, or at least very clearly, but a camera can see the infrared light very well. And that's how this works. Now you're going to push the A button on the Wii Remote to calibrate the software. And you have these four touch points. The next touch point will show up when you touch it. That there is an infrared light uh, coming from the pen and that is what the Wii Remote sees in order to track your motion. And that's the uh, IR uh, camera in the Wii Remote. Make sure you hold it at an angle that the remote can access it or see it and then that's how you do this. You'll notice I'm doing the touch calibration here now. Technically you don't even have to touch the screen but I find it a little bit easier and you get a little bit cal better calibration. And now the screen is calibrated and you should now be able to navigate about your computer with the uh, with the Wii Remote and the IR Pen. The reason it lags like that is because I have a remote connection to the computer that I'm actually using. And that's the reason the screen is lagging. But when you do it for yourself, it won't actually lag. Then you can just navigate your computer how you would normally navigate your computer. Just pretending that it's touchscreen when in actuality your computer is really not touchscreen. But it works just like if it was. Now Windows 8 gestures and stuff like that, that's not really going to be supported because the IR pen is not the clearest type of technology, but it's up to you to try. It may work or it may not.